The schedule is set. The board is filled. We rank top 10 in the nation. It's time to get it. It's time to get it. It's preseason. It's time to jump off to the regular season. And, you know, we got uh we got some changes that need to be made. We need to address that depth chart. We got some changes that needed to be made. Top 25 polls, Oregon's one, Miami's two, Bama's three, Oklahoma's four, A&M's five, Michigan's six, Penn State's seven, Florida Atlantic is eight. Preseason All-Americans, you know what it is. But we have to, uh, we have to, we had the rep. I said changes were needed. We have to adjust the depth chart, but we also have to go and redshirt certain players. Some players that need to be redshirted because they aren't necessarily overall or have the attributes to impact the roster this year. Or some players that need to be redshirted because they just need to save a year for um, their college career because they got other players that deserve to be ahead of them first. So we're going to take a look. We're going to go see who needs to be redshirted and who should. Bags is definitely a red shirt. He got too many tight ends ahead of him. So yeah, that's a given. He'll come back. He'll he'll impact. He'll make an impact the following season. But let's see. What else we got? Some of these other guys, these guys can't be impacted. Let's see. Um The more the merrier for guards. I don't really want to touch that. If I had like a fourth guard, then yeah, probably. Defensive ends, yes. So Almas, LeBeau, should I register both of these two or should I let them live? Almas for sure. LeBeau, eh. That's a toss up. I think I'm going to hold off on him for now. So Willie Ann, we're going to go ahead and register him, but I like to keep at least three to four. D tackles. So I'm probably going to roll with what I got here and not redshirt anybody else. Um, Johnson. Linebackers. Yeah. Johnson. I'm going to leave Sisk because I like that speed. Um, Tolson. Yeah, because you're 83 speed. So. Sims. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Go ahead and redshirt Sims. Marrero, yeah, that's a given because I didn't even want you on the roster to begin with. And as soon as next season come, you packing up, getting up out of town, my guy. Boy, yeah. Anybody with the lower speed, you getting redshirted. And you getting forced up out of there next season. Believe that. I think that's about it. That's about it at a uh, redshirt. Now we just need to adjust the depth chart. Again, it was looking for a second there, like Nadoma was going to be the starter, but we rolling with Fine. We're going to roll with Fine as the starter. Um, Nadoma will be the backup. Jamari Sands is going to start. I know Bond probably going to be pissed off at me. But, yeah, because even though he's faster, it would be smarter for me to start jamari sands because look at everything he's got he's got 99 agility to bonds 92 i'm gonna take that agility and change the direction all day every day so henry's moved up he was the number two receiver last season now he's the number one receiver meeks is number two to him Gernard is still the number three which is crazy for him to have the phenomenal season that he had the last season we move in willingham the fourth um, Gammon is going to be fifth or sixth. I should move him up to fifth over Vasquez because Vasquez is just a 90 speed with not eight with 88 acceleration. Um, Zeke Moore start and we're going to have Brown backing him up. Really not too much that need to be adjusted besides the defensive line and the linebackers. So we got Brantley and Marcelin starting. 
Got to find a spot for Hardy. I'm probably going to start Hardy at linebacker. Because with Brantley... Well, Hardy will definitely back up Brantley for sure. But I want to get Hardy on the field. Whether it be putting him at linebacker or subbing him in like for formation subs during the game. Now, granted, he's definitely way faster than Brantley, but Brantley has other intangibles that's better than Hardy. So Abreu got him starting with Ventura, linebacker. We got Jarvis Johnson. Trapuka. I'm going to call him Trapuka. We 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 going we going to pronounce the U as a I. So Horton at right outside linebacker, Hardy would be a 79 at linebacker. So I'm gonna put him as the backup, or no, yeah, we're gonna start him over Horton. Oh yeah, we're gonna start him over Horton because Horton's a 77 and Hardy would be a 79. So that's. That's my way of getting Hardy on the field. He's going to start, even though he's an in, he's going to start at right outside linebacker. So free, sta free safety, we're going we gonna to stay with gonna stay with Armstrong. Let's see. Willingham is my punt returner with Gammon backing him up. And we're going to do the same for kick return. So... Okay. Seeing about right. Everything seems about in line. Let's see. Top stories. Heisman candidates. Avery Johnson for Kansas State. Ohio State got two Heisman candidates. The hell? All right. So let's see. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. We're just going to call him Prince. You know, Scout. Doing what I should have been doing from the jump. Like I said, I was going to start doing last season, but didn't. We're going to start scouting these guys ahead of time to see if they worthy of me actually allocating resources to offering a scholarship and allocating resources to invest in them, like sending the house, contacting friends and family, et cetera. So I'm going to go ahead and offer. Yeah, we got Felix offered. Let's see, what are we looking like? Acceleration 88, speed 87. Oh, yeah. Scholarship is on the table for you, my guy. Let's see what else we got. All right, so halfbacks. He's got us number three. What's his intangibles looking like? So he's got 90 speed, 91 agility, 66 awareness, 92 acceleration. Even though it says he's not a gym, I'm going to go ahead and offer that scholarship. Avery Knight. Let's see what we looking like. Okay, it says he's a gym. Break tackles 87. I'm going to go ahead and offer that scholarship up. Boom. He's a receiving back. What's his intangibles? So he's got 92 speed. Oh, yeah. And 91 acceleration. Offer it. Offer that scholarship. If you got anything 90 above speed, I'm going to go ahead and offer that scholarship up. Believe that. So let's see, tight ends. He's got us number three on his list as well. And he is a vertical threat. His acceleration is 86, speed 87. I could roll with that. Um, Pullard. Let's see what he's got. He's got us number eight. He, we're in his top eight. What's his intangibles? 87, speed 87, acceleration. We'll go ahead and offer that scholarship up too. So far, so good. So far, these guys that I've added, they, they're they panning out nice throughout the scouting process. So Now, he's a blocking tight end, so he wouldn't be the fastest, but he is a gym. So, yeah, we'll offer that scholarship, and he's got his top two. Savage, what's Savage looking like? He's a possession receiver or possession tight end, 81 acceleration. Yeah, we'll revisit that. We'll revisit that one. We'll come back on them. So right tackle. 
I like all my offensive linemen to have high strength, whether it be uh, college football or whether it be Madden. I prefer them to have high strength. Defensive tackles, too. Defensive ends, I just want speed. So, although this guy is a gym, I don't know what is. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention to his speed. So, let's see. Phil Ware has us. He's 83 speed, and he's a gym. I'll take that. For a DN, I'll take that. It's not like I got to have DN speed 90. They just got to have be at least in between, like, the 83, 85, 86 range. So, his strength is crazy, and his speed is high. I'm definitely offering that scholarship up. Sal Herrera. All right, so Landon John, what are we looking like? 77 speed? Ugh. Yeah, no, nah, we're going to go ahead and roll out. We're going to check out these outside linebackers. All right, so Kraft has us in his top six. His speed is 80. Acceleration 89. Ah, we'll come back to that. Crumb, 87 acceleration, 86 speed, and he's a gem. Give me that. President, Bola President. What kind of awkward name? All right, so 89 acceleration, 82 hit power, 86 speed. Awkward name or, or not, you getting a scholarship. All right, Lester. Lester Verling. What we got? We got no scholarship offer for you, my guy. All right. Cornerback, Zach Weger. You are 88 speed. Ah, see, I don't know about that. And you're not even a gym. <clears throat> I'll offer it for now because I might could <clears throat> bring you in. Excuse me. <clears throat> I might can bring him in and move him to safety. Now, Ryan, Ryan Bolt. With the 90 speed and the 91 acceleration, that's doable. So I'll offer that scholarship. I'll offer a scholarship for you to come in as a corner. But Weigert, I'll offer you a scholarship in hopes or likes to move you to safety. So safeties, what are we looking like? 87 acceleration, 90 speed. That's a, that's a scholarship offer. Bet Atwell, Nick Atwell. And what we looking like here? Change of direction, 87, acceleration, 90. Give me me. Donovan Brink, 90 speed. I don't even, you can say he's not a gem all you want to. He's getting a scholarship. So, Thad Coffee, interesting name. 91 speed. Oh, yep. And he's a gem. Give me the scholarship. Yes, sir. So we got 19 scholarships offered so far. Uh, what else we got? What else? What else? What else? Let's see, I feel like I'm missing something. I didn't even. What the, did I? Yo, oh, yeah, no, I did. I did scout him. I was about to say, I didn't even scout him, but I did scout him. What are we looking like on this one? 78 speed. Ah, yeah. That's why he didn't get offered a scholarship. His speed is garbage. His throw power is halfway decent. He's got a 91 throw power. Deep accuracy, 82. Throw under pressure, 86. Throw on a run, 87. At least his throw on a run is high, and his agility is pretty decent. Still don't know if I want to offer him a scholarship, but... Custom schedules. I already did my schedule. Let's see. Arch Manning is fifth in the Heisman running. Okay, let's see if he can actually pull it off. I'm gonna know because they left me high and dry in my first year or my second year. I didn't have nobody that was a Heisman candidate, and I had people that was putting up some numbers. They did Cam Fancher dirty with his touchdown to interception ratio, 51 to 3. So, all right, so. Let's see. We're officially in the regular season. Week zero, as they would call it. And we got Tulane facing off against Kansas State first week. USF against Alabama. So we should we should have some action this week coming up. As we're still ranked number eight. Let's check out the recruiting. 
and see where we're at and start and okay so let's see some of these guys we haven't made no movement with yet at all at least not these quarterbacks yet scholarship offered well we weren't the only ones offered a scholarship so we might be in trouble with this one because some of the bigger schools have offered this guy a scholarship so he might be long gone i'm gonna send the house and others but he might be long gone now nevis that's a good look we got a lead so far on that but you never know how that might pan out because we're the only ones that offer the scholarship and if georgia or ohio state offer a scholarship we screwed on that so moultrie alani moultrie we're up there we're battling we're in second we're battling first but again these are some of the top tier prospects and if we're fighting with some of these bigger schools we could be in some trouble so that's why it is important it is a key it is key to jump out on these other schools quick fast and in a hurry because you again the theme the theory of this whole thing is to try to get these guys to verbally commit as soon as possible because the second these other schools these top schools start to uh offer scholarships it's a wrap it's a wrap so let me see scout wise 87 feet i'm just trying to see which order i want to go in as far as who i'm allocating what time to first so pull it i'm gonna send a house for him first uh peterson where were you at Eh, man Trying to choose diligently because I don't want to waste all hours on one position. I want to spread it out on all positions. So if I don't necessarily need it, need it, I'll wait before I decide to add hours to these other guys. I'll go ahead and at least DM and search social media for Jeremy Hyde. So offensive tackles. Folk, Sammy Folk. Oh, I didn't even scout these guys. What the hell was I doing? All right, so he's a gem. We'll go ahead and offer that scholarship for him. It's in the house. Let's see, True Blood, Power, Jorge Power, Antoine Dirth. Let's see, what's the scout report on him? Oh, I didn't even scout him. It's in the house. Well, that's why he's got us in the top five. If anybody has me in a top, top five, top three, I'm not even going to hesitate. I'm going to go ahead and just put the out, put the time and put the hours in. Javier Browning. Our right, receiver. Let's see. Christian Wall. He's a deep threat. He's 6'2", 199 pounds. Go ahead and add him. And, he, and he's got his top six. So what's the scout report on him? 96 acceleration, 91 speed. Eh, it's okay. Um, He can get a scholarship, though. He can definitely get a scholarship. Uh, da, 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 da. Prospect list. Still let him. I'm gonna still let him live with that scholarship, but I want to bring in somebody else to see if we can find another speedster. Uh, and we're gonna scout them as well to see before. So he's got 95 speed, 92 acceleration. Offer him a scholarship. And he's got Ohio State, Penn State, Kentucky, Notre Dame, Michigan all out ahead. Uh, 150 hours left. I be feeling so guilty for not, like, utilizing all my hours. 
even though I probably should be leaving some of these hours on the board just in case. But let's see. Block shedding, 84 strength, 84. Hit power, 83. Acceleration, 78. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and send the house on him. Tyler Blue, Phil Ware. Oh, yeah. Definitely want to send the house for Ware. I forgot all about him. He had some real nice intangibles. See Enrique Crum. Oh yeah, eighty-seven acceleration, eighty-six speed, and President had eighty-nine acceleration. So definitely want to send the house for Crum first. We'll come back and we'll revisit President. So, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and advance. We're going to go ahead and cut that short right there. Again, if you made it this far and you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do so. Click that notification tab so you can stay up to speed with all of the Dynasty Rebuild content, the tutorials, anything College Football 25 updates related, as well as College Football 26 leaks coming soon. So, again, I appreciate you all for tuning in. That's been my time. Till next time, peace.